Well, good morning everyone. Uh, we're back at uh, Murphy Sport Fishing's Riverside Lodge again. Uh, last time we were here, it was two years ago, and it was actually my first time fishing the Somas River for salmon, and it was such an excellent time. But you've actually done uh, quite a few trips here, right? Yeah, we do a lot of trips, um, Daniel yeah. and I. Yeah, it's such a productive river system, um, being it's not, it's not very remote, but it has a pretty strong hatchery program, and uh, lots of Chinook salmon in there. Right? I think this year they're looking at around 85,000 fish coming back. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can keep eating. Uh, but yeah, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and uh, actually most of the guests are out fishing already. Uh, we're having a late start today, so we're just having our breakfast right now. Uh, but we're going to fish from around noon until uh, evening time, until dinner's ready. Mm -hmm. The boat is just right behind the lodge. So that it's was like a two-minute down to the river, yeah. or two-minute walk down to the river bank. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Oh, breakfast done. So now we're setting up our rods and uh, we actually just did a Q&A session. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna, one boat just came back. The other guests came back. So we have a boat now. We're gonna head out in a minute and uh, get some Chinook salmon. Gears all set up, and now we're ready to fish. Uh -huh. Enjoy your cookie. Uh -huh. <laughs> Got fresh, freshly baked cookies and tea, and how many fish do you think we're gonna get? I'm just gonna catch my limit and I'm done. Well, that's pretty, pretty confident. I'm super excited. Okay, about six feet, five feet. Oh, uh, I do about a three and a half. Three and a half, yeah. Okay. This, you're gonna want to start way out there. Yeah. Out in that far rift. Yeah. There's yeah. that rock, just yeah. way back in there. Yeah, sounds good. So you say we'll get our limit, no problem. Like, I know, I'll get my limit, no problem. We're float fishing uh, for salmon today using bait, uh, which is one of my favorite ways to catch them, uh, using like a, a top shelf float. This is a 20, 25 gram, I think it's a cigar shaped float, right? 25 gram top shelf float. And you want to balance it so that only that orange part is showing. Because what they were saying that the bites are so small, uh, you want the slightest move, you want that float to dip right down. Right? You don't yeah. want to be having that float sitting too high up because then you wouldn't see the bite. Or even too low. Like a couple of weekends ago when I was out, I had too much weight on. Mm -hmm. So the orange was just a little bit too much underwater yeah. and you couldn't see those taps very well. Like right. it looked like it was tapping the whole time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So. so you just gotta be, so yeah. it's, it's balanced. So you gotta be just right. Rod, how many grams are those cigar floats? So it's 25, I got. 25? Yeah. Uh, for me, it's kind of like, I, for coho, I, you know, fishing on the beta and stuff, I like to go light. You know, do like 15, 14 gram. I, I, so. I always go for 20s here. Okay. I pair a 20 gram float with yep. three 3 16 split shots. Oh, yeah. That seems to be the perfect, yeah. perfect balance for those. Hey, the guy's not supposed to get the first fish. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a bullet, Matt. That's nice. Ooh. It's nice. Nice. Just had to wait them out. The bite was off for a little bit, so. Seems to be turned on. You can starting to see a few. They're jumping around and rolling a little more. Finally, someone that wanted to fully commit himself. Rod, I think he's just about ready okay. here. Um, 
Nice. Nice one. Are you keeping that? Beauty. Sure, we'll keep them. Yeah. Buy them off fish. Yeah. Can we lift them? Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah. That's a nice one. That's Beauty. A Stamp River Chinook right yeah. there. Fairly bright. It's not It's not ocean chrome, but it's. it's oh, can't, you, can't, you can't complain about he that. Probably has some of these fish even coming in from the canal, some of them are already dark. Yeah. In the canal, so you're getting a so mix. Fish are, this is a this is a boat. This is a really yeah. fresh one. Right. So this is about a seven to eight pound, Somas River Chinook heading for the Stamp River to spawn, and this is a female. We're just down in the lower part of the Somas River here, fishing where we are bait fishing today. So this is a nice specimen right here, the first one of the day as well. So we'll get him put away and try and get a couple more. So would this be under fish? Like, you know, when I talk about over and under, like what, what is the limit? Uh, 77 limit? centimeters is kind of the slot limit, right. they call. Right. This one is a little bit under that size. Okay. So this is an under slot. Right. Chinook so the daily cord is two fish and you can keep one over, did you say 70? 77. One over 77 yeah. and one and under one 77. 77. Yeah. Yep. So that's So under. this is an under. And now you can look for a bigger one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So now we have a show. Um, Kitty really wants to fish, but I'm, I'm dying to catch one. I had a few bites, just starting to, just starting to get them when Matt got that fish. So I'm gonna try it for 10 more minutes, then I'm gonna hand the rod over and take over the camera. Okay, hurry up and catch a damn fish. Yeah. Let's go. That's pretty slow. Finally. Yeah, Ooh, that looks like a nice one. Right, maybe. Water's a little softer on this end, just makes it easier yeah. to turn at him. Now the, right, so this, one, this one's a little more colored, so we're gonna let this one go. Um, there's lots of fish in the river, so once we get a nicer one, this one's roughly around six, seven pounds. Yep, that's probably yeah. seven pounder. Nice. Seven pound male. Ooh. Now it's Kitty turn. Right on, Rod, nice fish. Thank you. A few hours in, and Rod finally hooked up with one. It wasn't a fish that he wanted to keep in the end. A little bit bronzier than he's hoping for. I think I missed one first cast. But my reel's a little bit sticky, so I'm just trying to get it spinning again, and hopefully we get a fish on. It's been less than 10 minutes. Oh, less than 10 yeah, minutes. Than 10 minutes. I would say so. And I had like that first cast. That first cast I had, I lost something. It's like hunkering there. Awesome, nice, Kitty. It's a good one. Yeah, it's you not really. Rod's fish. It's kind of, yeah, probably. The tidal line is right down there, about a kilometer downstream, so these fresh are usually very fresh out of the ocean and they come up with the tides, high and low tide. High tide, they'll push up out of the tidal portion and into this area. Uh, Take the hook out. Yep. We're going to release this one. It's a little darker than I really need. <sighs> nice. First one. Nice. Not as clean as Matt, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, is it my turn now? I saw the fish again. And this is probably like half a dozen casts into it, and the fish are really more active now. Wow, you're bringing that in way easier than mine. 
Oh, this one is quite. There we nice. go. Yeah. A bullet. I know this one's in good shape though. Yeah, we'll see. For sure. We'll take a look at it. Mm. So as soon as his head's just right. Nice, Matt. Yeah. Well, it's not as nice as nice. yours. No, that's a beauty. <laughs> but uh, I think beauty. we'll... I think we'll take it. Yeah, yeah. we'll take this one. The belly's white. Sure. Yeah, no, that's a nice one for sure. Get the hook out in there. That's nice. Rod has started to give up filming Matt and I because we weren't catching fish, so he started filming my buddy Mike, who's on the beach just to my right. He had a fish on, and I asked him, I said, Mike, how are you catching all these fish? And they, he's been constantly tailing fish for his uh, buddy that's over there. And then this was a big drift down and uh, hooked one. Oh. Oh. I can't believe I still got it. My rod was straight up. Like, no, it's so that. much slack. It's just coming right up, Matt. Awesome. Oh, well. That was a nice battle all the way up there. Upstream and up into there. I just want It's just holding. He's a, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. There we go. He's coming up. Keep cheering me on, Matt. We're making headway. Go, kitty. 25 minutes. <laughs> He's coming. Come come right down by this seat here, okay? Just in case he goes around the motor or anything or goes under the boat. Come turn right by me. Kitty Mateen thinks we can see some, book some dates for the gym. I know, I'm so... In preparation. Pretty so mass river trip. There we go. Here it is, 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 here it is. No, 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 no. Oh. 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 <sighs> Oh. 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 Why didn't you net it? Because it was 30 feet. Oh. My hands are so sore. I actually have no idea how I could have brought that fish in any faster. I was giving it like 110%. Yeah, we got into quite a few fish there this morning. The afternoon fishery definitely isn't up to par with the morning fishery. Not quite as many fish usually no. which we expected that and but we still got into quite a few fish and had a good afternoon so for now we're going to head in we have a four course meal yeah and i'm looking more than forward to it it is exactly what i need That's why I like this rod, it's 
It's got a pretty strong backbone. Just <laughs> bring right back up. Yeah. If I if it touches the boat, I'm gonna grab it and push it out. Okay. If the boat's all metal, so yeah, it's easier to touch it and it cuts it. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah, no, that's a nice one. So that that fish came from the really far yeah, coastal it's, shoreline. And what did I say? We needed to move in because we're hugging shore. So the, the the key message is, kid is always right. Yeah, Maybe seven eight pounder, yeah, something like that. Seven yeah. eight pound buck. Okay. Well, we're not going to waste any time because it bites on okay. and it's kiddies swim. So yeah. Would be nice coho in here. They're always not always super bitey on the row. You tend to, ooh. Tend to get a lot more Chinook fish and row. He's getting close there, kitty. And now that we got a look at him there, he is a Chinook. I got two. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice one. Nice, nice little under. There we go. Always like to just get his head straight upstream right away. And then he can still breathe and sits there nice and not dragging in the water. That. Very okay. nice one, juicy. Looks like a little buck. We'll let this guy go. Unless you guys want him. No. Let him go. Really nice one. Right on, buddy. Enjoy. There's fish in here that are, are bigger. If you're going for bigger, like if you really need me. Yeah, definitely you can but pick through them. I'm not too picky. picky. I would just, I would have kept that one. Just because it's clean and... Yeah, no, I'm not, I don't eat a lot of fish, so it's no. okay, I can let it sacrifice a few. If mom wants one, I'll keep him, otherwise, let him go. Feel too heavy, not like yesterday, no. Movable. He's still way down there. I think more side. Yeah, more side there is gonna come up. Depends on what side he's hooked on, right? There we go. I can't go any. Yeah, there we go. Finally. A very nice under. Still Mass River Chinook. That's a beautiful one. Very nice and fresh. So that, that's kind of what they look like for the most part, that color. So we're pretty close to the tidal portion. and I got a fish on. Well, this is like five minutes after Kitty's fish. No, 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 one more. This one is slightly fresher than the first one I got. Would you say? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. slightly. Slightly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And it's a dime. It's not bad, yeah. Nice looking Beauty fish, fish for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Around, around seven, eight pounds, just like the other one.
And now the Murphy's Sport fishing trip done. And uh, how was it? Oh, it was good. It was good. Um, got to catch up with old friends, great co-workers. Yeah. And we caught a couple of fish. Yeah. I was pretty hyped up about the fish, uh, the fishing for this weekend. I thought we were going to get like 20 fish per day and it was good. You know, don't get me wrong. I, we, I actually we, thought 20 fish each. 20 fish each. So we... I did. Yeah, we, we got, I mean, I got my limit of fish, so I'm not complaining. Um, but it definitely took some time to get them this year. And it wasn't even the fish that we had a problem actually mm -hmm. catching. It was sorting through ones that had been there in the river a yeah. little bit longer. It's than a bit of both, right? So, the, you know, this type of fishing, it really depends on the river level. So but the rivers came up. Yeah, they came like up. Like, we right? had a big rainfall yeah. right before this trip. And I yeah. thought that it would push all the old mm -hmm. ones out, flush them out, mm -hmm. and shoot a whole bunch of fresh fish in. But all um, of them went up. Uh, we got some really nice fish. Like I so said, we had to sort through um, a few fish. Got some really clean ones and some... Um, a little slightly more colored, but um, all of them will be very good eating when I get home. So when Matt was cutting up the fish and taking the guts out, I looked at the big one that he killed, and when I was filming it, it looked quite dark. But those dark fish, they actually can be really surprising, and their meat can still be quite tight. Yep. And it was nice. It had lots of fat into it. Mm -hmm, definitely, yeah. Well, the fishing is good, but um, the highlight of being here was... <laughs> The food. Oh, are you to say that too? Amazing, right? Yeah. yeah, the dinner was, we were pretty spoiled yesterday. I have some to go. And uh, there was so much, you got some leftovers. Uh, we had we had chicken the first night, that was your favorite. My favorite was the uh, roast beef yesterday, last night, that was amazing. I just want to eat right now. <laughs> we're so spoiled. Anyways, um, happy to be, we're happy to be here, away for the weekend, and uh, now we got to go back to reality again. Yeah. Snap back to reality. Exactly, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, um, if you need more information on Riverside Lodge and Murphy Sport Fishing, check out their website at murphysportfishing.com. And uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube and, channel. And Matt, too. He did an excellent job today. That yeah. was his very first we should, Yeah, we should give him lots of credit, right? Yeah. So he did an amazing job. So Such a professional um, individual for being a first-year freshwater fishing guide. And, and 19. Um, at 19, 19. He, it's, uh, he knew a lot of stuff. So anyways, we got to go home. Uh, it's raining. Uh, it's a good way to end it right now. So until next time. Good luck fishing. <laughs> Bye. See my bait work sometimes, right? Running after. Oh. Oh. oh no, no, it's his fish. Sorry, I didn't know it was all the way down there. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> and what just happened? Have we ever had that on film before? No, we've never had that on film. Oh, it's something new. That is a first. Oh, yeah. Catching fish. Goodness. Still having fun. That's not what you said a minute ago. It's the company that counts. Most of the time. Yeah, Matt, I would say you're pretty good company. Oh, thank you guys. Oh, and, and you too. Oh! Hey, let's go. Go. You know, I can walk fast. Go oh, that fast, come on. Oh. Trying to get it right. So soft. I gotta, well, I, I, I I gotta refocus again. Oh.